It's not a good sign of things to come. Annual mule deer fawn counts in the Lander region are at near historic lows. Surveys taken back in December were as low as 27 fawns per 100 does in one herd unit. Other herd units in the region fared better, but are still a concern. The main reason, most likely the drought of 2012, which left habitat in poor condition, making it extremely difficult for does to raise a normal fawn crop. Typically, fawn ratios in the Lander region range between 60 to 80 fawns per 100 does in good years. Game and Fish Lander Region Wildlife Coordinator Daryl Lutz says when fawn ratios drop below 65 per 100 does in a hunted population, population declines result. He says last summer's drought continues to make its impacts felt. Yeah, it's been well documented in, in research throughout the West, throughout mule deer range, that uh, mule deer does um, coming off of their summer and trans transition range in poor condition have an extraordinarily low fawn productivity rate. And so it's pretty evident that those deer coming off of, you know, summer ranges during this, this last summer's, you know, really, really dry and hot conditions were in poor shape. And that's resulted in fawns, those that made it through summer, going into winter in poor body condition. Lutz says the effects of the 2012 summer will likely linger on into the next few years. In all likelihood, not only did we not see fawns produced in 2012, um, but the fawns that did make it through the summer and are still out there as we're speaking today are likely in relatively poor body condition and will probably, uh, most of them will not survive this winter, regardless how mild it is. And so my anticipation is we'll see at least two age classes missing for the next several years. The effect that has on season setting is that some mule deer seasons in the Lander region will probably be more restrictive to protect the deer that are left. Or in cases where hunt seasons are left unchanged, hunting quality could be impacted. Even with the chance of good spring moisture, does that make it through this winter may find it difficult to give birth to and raise a healthy fawn. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.